Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management. And of course, that's P-A-Y-N-E, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan. And yeah, it's my dad, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, dad. What's shaking on this glorious Memorial Day weekend? You're back up from Naples, Florida at the Jersey Shore. Everything's right with the world, as far as I can oh, sure is, right? You know, kicking off the, a nice long weekend. We got Monday off. Uh, it'll be great to get uh, rested up. Actually, get all my boxes un, un, unpacked. And, hey, the beaches are open. The boardwalk's open. I got my mask. I'm ready to head out. There you go. There you go. Quarantining in style at the Jersey Shore, Bob. That's the way you roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about four easy ways to ruin your retirement, things we don't want you to do. Bob and I are going to navigate you through common financial mistakes you really need to avoid at all costs. We're going to talk about how to build a passive income stream to achieve financial freedom. We're going to take you step by step so that you don't have to work forever. You can rely on your portfolio. And we have this week's financial propaganda, all the best news, worst news that the financial media has been recently broadcasting. We're going to break it down for you along with this week's spotlight segment. It's going to be an all pain weekend. We have financial advisor, my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne on the show. He's going to break down a real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. A lot to go through today. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile, and you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan, you simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. We're going to do it for free. Simply go to www paincm.com slash game plan. That's www.paincm.com slash game plan. During these volatile times, why are quarantining? We'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. And we'll put together a game plan for you today. <laughs> It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the best advice, worst advice, the financial media has recently been broadcasting so you can make good decisions about your finances. And Bob, you know, you and I, we just, we have the articles flying back every week. Like I said, I think we probably read pretty much everything. Um, and what did you find this week that was worth talking about on our Financial Propaganda segment of the show? Absolutely nothing. Huh, nothing. Well, there's plenty of propaganda, but nothing worth talking about. Oh, my goodness. This is the worst economy since the Depression. We have more unemployed people than we did back in 1929. This is horrible. This is it's never going to end. It's never going to get better. This is just the worst time ever to be an investor and ever to be a, a citizen in the United States. They're driving me crazy, right? We got to get rid of these people. All right. So I think this is a really important point to bring up. Um, and this week's a great example of this, right? The market's having a phenomenal week and all the prognosticators and the media on the news, they love talking about there's this big disconnect between the economy and the stock market. But I've got news for you, Bob. I want to hear it, right? What's the news? They're always out of sync. It's not <laughs> the same thing. The stock market and the economy are not the same thing. And this is a really important point. In fact, if you go back in history and the years that we have negative economic growth, which we're probably going to have this year with the pandemic, it slowed down the economy. 66% of the time, that's way more than half, the market actually goes up. Why is that, Bob? Well, because the market looks out, right? looks at the future. It's the most, I'll tell you, the market's very rarely wrong. It's, it's much smarter than all of us. It incorporates all this information 
you know, that's, that's coming in and that everybody's trying to keep up with, but it's already ahead of you, three to six months ahead of you. Yeah, and it's, it's very hard to dislocate these things, right? Because, I mean, the news is bad every day. Believe me, the media is going to make things sound as dire as possible to scare you as much as possible. And it's really hard to be hearing all this bad data. And then, on the other hand, seeing the market go up and up and up. Well, that's the thing. They don't tell you the truth, right? They tell you it's, the, it's as bad as the depression. Well, maybe the numbers are, but the depression was about a financial calamity. This was a government-induced shutdown, and the market saw it coming, and that's why it dropped so fast. So, Rai, when the market, when the government doesn't mandate a shutdown, why can't the market recover just as rapidly as it went down? How come you never hear that? That's a great point, because the market did sell off. The market was able to predict, once we saw they were going to have a global shutdown, that it was going to be bad. And we literally saw the fastest sell-off ever in the history of the market because the market was that ahead of the news. In fact, the first bad piece of data about the economy didn't come out till March 24th, but that was a day after the market had already bottomed. The market was way <laughs> ahead of it. It always is, right? The market's so much smarter than all of us. But you know, the nice thing about this is I've been through it so many times. This is not my first rodeo. And when I look back at all the different big, steep panic declines, they, they, they all happen for different reasons, right? They all happen for different, but they, but they had one universal characteristic, right? What's that, Bob? They recovered. Yes, exactly. And more importantly, they recovered before the news got better. Yeah, but I don't want you to make the same mistake that we saw a lot of investors make during the Great Recession. They kept waiting and waiting and waiting for the economy to get better. Meanwhile, the stock market was already going up for months before the economy started getting better. Yeah, I think that's the thing that uh, I'm not hearing a lot about on the financial propaganda channels is that we had, if not the best, one of the greatest economies in the history of our country just in February, just this past February. Greatest economy ever. And since then, we've had a big decline. Stocks are on sale. Financial markets are on sale. And the Federal Reserve has, in, has injected $9 trillion into the economy and has vowed to do whatever it takes. Yeah, if it's that's, hard. If that's, not a, if that's not a buy signal, I don't know what is, right? <laughs> Well, I think it's really important right now because you're sitting in cash and there's a good chance you are and you're waiting for that perfect moment because the one thing that we hear the financial media talking about over and over again is there's going to be another big leg down the stock market. I wouldn't wait for that. It may happen, but the chances are, to your point, Bob, with so much money being thrown at the problem and the fact that things are getting a little bit better, it's going to be very hard for the market to have a big decline like we already saw. Hey, Ryan, you know, the government decided we're not going to pay you anything for cash assets, all right? We don't want you to be in cash, so we're not gonna give you any return whatsoever. Now, you could be stubborn and say, I don't care, I'm gonna stay here until they give me some return, or you could put some money in risk assets where the government's putting their own money and telling you, there's where you're gonna make money, you know, follow the money, all right? Follow the money, they're telling you, get out of cash, get into well, risk assets. Exactly, and it's more important than ever right now. We, we talk about this all day today. You're not going to get your goals earning a half a percent sitting in a money market fund right now, sitting in cash and waiting for this magical time that's never going to happen to get invested. Right now, you've got to reassess your income plan, and this is the time to start making decisions, start getting invested. Prices are low, and there's a lot of attractive income you can build into your portfolio right now that's going to really benefit you for the long term. Now, Ryan, I, I can't say it any better than this. It's okay to be wrong. It's not okay to stay wrong. Got to get them back on plan. You know, it doesn't matter what happened the last two months. It only happens what happens every month for the rest of your life. Yeah. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, okay, that's me. I'm guilty. I've been sitting around panicked. I'm watching the news all day because I'm quarantined and I'm not making good decisions about my money. Look, here's your time to take action. If you're one of the next five callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to deal with no obligation or cost. It's a full audit of your financial life so you can start making good decisions. Look, while you're quarantined right now, we've set up a secure email so you can send us your re most recent statement. Send us your holdings. We're going to review all of it for you. And even better, we're going to build you your own personalized financial portal so you can finally view your entire financial life at a bird's eye view. Now we can start making good decisions for you. We're going to look at everything from income. You have to have an income plan for retirement. You're not going to be able to draw from your portfolio if you don't know how to. 
what is your income plan going to be? Well, we're going to build one for you. We're going to figure out exactly how to draw from your portfolio in retirement and do it with the least amount of risk. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit hard here with the market down? Were you sitting with too much cash, but you're afraid to get in? We're going to build for your own game plan to get invested properly so you don't get hit on the downside. So your portfolio is protected and you can build a portfolio for the rest of your life. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's so many hidden costs in these investment portfolios. You don't know you're paying. Those annuities, life insurance products, brokerage products, mutual funds. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are, show you how to reduce that cost. Then we're going to optimize your portfolio for taxes. This is the time to look at taxes on your portfolio. Money saved in taxes is just as green as any money you make invested. We're going to show you how to do tax swaps, Roth conversions, build a stream of tax-free income so you have more money in your pocket for retirement. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've been working on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Six six nine two, or just simply call eight four four Plan N Y C. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. If you're one of our next five callers, you've saved over five hundred thousand for your retirement. Brian and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. There's no obligation. There's no cost. No strings attached. But there's no plan unless you call or text eight four four seven five two. 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or simply just call 844 Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. Hey, quarantine's going to be over soon. You're going to get really busy. Now's the time to get your planning done. What else do you have to do? Just give us a call or text 844 752 6692. This is Bob Payne, and I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. So Bob, everybody likes things to be easy. So I thought we could put together a handy short list of easy ways you can ruin your retirement if you're not careful. For example, you know, treating retirement as a destination as opposed to a journey. Yeah, I can't, I can't blame somebody, right? That you know, in the rat race their whole life working and they think, oh my goodness, can't wait to get to retirement. The rat race is over. Well, you know, it's not a race, right? It's a journey. And it's not the end, it's the beginning. It's like the old Aerosmith song, right? Life's a journey, not a destination. And that doesn't end at retirement. And I think it's more important than ever right now because let's be real, right? Retirement now can last 20, 30 years. That's a long, long time. And there's so many more things you have to account for than say your parents did back in the day when it was like you retired at 65, you had social security and your pension and you were set. Well, you know, let's say life is so much better now. It's like, oh, it drives me crazy when people say, oh, I miss the good old days. Well, the good old days weren't so great. You don't have, you know, the technology and all the opportunities. And as you look at, you know, like 45, 46, almost 47 years now doing this, right? Um, my clients that are retiring now are way more active uh, than my clients that retired 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I mean, if you look at a good majority of our clients are baby boomers, and you know, we've really seen them through the whole journey, right? From, in sure. most cases, like their, I mean, my, my own career from their 40s to now their 60s and 70s. And you're right, it's almost like they don't miss a beat. You know, right now, you are just as active, you have just as many things on your calendar as you did when you were working, um, which means that you need more money, <laughs> you know, to do all those things. And you need more planning than you would have needed, you know, say like 20, 30 years ago if you were retiring then. That's absolutely the case, right? Planning is the key. You just can't hope it all works out. I mean, when you're working, you work hard, you know, I'll work for a bonus or I'll put a couple extra hours in. Well, you know, you don't have that opportunity in retirement, nor do you want it. I mean, you know, at what point in your life are you going to start enjoying yourself? Yeah, exactly. Like I think about one of our clients who has been a client for many, many years. They literally, every summer, they get in the camper and they go around the country taking photographs of all different animals and birds and they send us all the pictures and it's just so cool, right? Like, I mean, what a cool way to spend your retirement. Of course, they need to fund that too. So we go through every year, we budget it out. We look at what they're going to spend, what it's going to cost for them to go around the country. But I mean, man, they're having way more fun now than they ever had in their whole life. Yeah. And the whole point of planning is not only are they able to do everything in their lives that they couldn't do when they're working, you know, 20 hours a day, 
But then when they, when they finished traveling, they go back to their beautiful uh, condo overlooking the Gulf of Mexico, and they got that gorgeous view to relax until they go on their next adventure. Yeah, that is, that is retirement in style. The other mistake you don't want to make to ruin your retirement is assume that your monthly spending habits in retirement are going to be the same as when you're working or less, even worse. What we find is a lot of times, not only are they the same, but a lot of times they can actually be more. Well, I think with the opportunities to travel today, my travel is going to get a lot cheaper once we're done with this pandemic. It's going to be a lot of opportunities to get out. Maybe maybe not even travel on a, a cruise ship or a plane, but everybody can jump in their car and go places. And you're going to live longer too, right? It's not just a matter of what you're doing with your life. The fact you're going to live longer because of all the medical technology. I mean, just think, we got 100 vaccines being worked on right now for one disease. Uh, can you imagine all the other miracles are going to come out of this and, and how much longer you're going to live? And you got to fund that. Yeah, no, exactly right. So it's more critical than ever that you have a real plan. And right now is probably the best time to look at these things because if you have money sitting in cash, you're sitting in CDs at 0.6% or whatever that low interest rate is, like that's just not going to cut it. So like that could be the biggest thing to ruin your retirement is going to be that cost of living. And that's one side of it, right? You could be way more conservative now than you probably should be because you have to plan it for a longer period of time. But the other thing, Bob, we see all the time when ruining your retirement is maybe you're 55, maybe you're 60, maybe you're 70. You can't invest your money like you're 35 anymore, Bob. It's not a good idea. <laughs> now, you know what, Rod? When you're, when you're in your retirement years, you don't, you don't have a 35-year-old body. So number one, you don't want to be out playing touch football in the parking lot with your grandchildren. And you certainly don't want to have a portfolio uh, that, you know, it's the same type of risk tolerance that you had when you were 35 or the type of risk your grandchild should be taking. Yeah, and I, I hate to say it, but you know, if these last couple months in the market are just such a great reminder. You have to be so much smarter about your risk now. I mean, the market went up and up for 10 years, and you probably thought to yourself, like, I'm going to keep riding this out. The economy is strong. Um, I'm loving seeing the returns in my portfolio. But the problem is when things go bad, it's usually unexpected. And you got to have that prepared ahead of time. You can't wait till after the fact. And a lot of us are learning that in real time right now. Hey, Rod, it reminds me of a great client that retired a number of years ago, and he, he ran an insurance agency, and he really successful. Um, but then all of a sudden, you know, he's in a world where he's got all this free time, and he doesn't know anything about the, the investment market, so he's becoming an expert. So he spends, instead of going out and play golf, pickleball, you know, enjoying his life, he's sitting at his desk every night reading research. Um, at some point in your career, you got to figure out when's the time to go out and have fun and when's the time to let go. And that's where you not only need a plan, but you need someone you can trust, a trusted advisor to execute on the plan. Yeah. And there's nothing more important than protecting against the downside. The upside always takes care of itself, but if you don't have a downside plan, then it can literally wipe out your retirement. And that's why it's so, so critical to get on top of these things now. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a game plan. You know, I need to make sure that I've got an income plan for retirement because it is a journey, not a destination. I've been procrastinating on this, especially because the world's insane right now. Well, don't waste time. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our now famous total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. We do a full audit of your finances. We've sent out a secure email while you're quarantining so you can send us your different statements. We'll review everything. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you get a bird's eye view of your entire financial life. We can start making good decisions. We're going to look at everything from income. You have to have an income plan for retirement. Getting a half a percent, one percent on a CD right now is not going to cut it. What's your income plan for retirement? We're going to help you build one and build one that's going to last the rest of your life. We're going to look at diversification. The markets have been extremely volatile. We've seen a lot of downside in the market right now. Were you protected? How are you going to protect yourself next time? We're going to show you how to build a portfolio that's bulletproof so you're protected within retirement. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. Yes, there's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolio. You probably don't know you're even paying. We're going to go through it all. We're going to show all those hidden costs are in those annuities, mutual funds, insurance products, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce that cost, and we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes. Like right now is the best time to take advantage of tax strategies, Roth conversions, tax swaps, tax-free bonds. There's so many ways to create tax-free income right now. This is the time to do it. Then we're going to tie it all together in one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money 
can outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for your retirement. Brian and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no plan. Let's text or call 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm hanging out with my son virtually, Rye Payne, and we're the Paynes of No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne. Bob pain, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you're making the best decisions about your finances during this insane time. That's why we put together our latest coronavirus survival guide. We just give you a couple of common sense things you can do right now with your portfolio and your finances to make sure that you're in good shape. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555 555- 888, you can get our coronavirus survival guide. We give you a lot of different action steps you can take right now, optimizing taxes, diversification, making good decisions about your money. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555-888. So Bob, the whole idea of financial independence versus we'll call it retirement per se, is the fact that you may still enjoy working But wouldn't it be nice to know that if you decide to stop working tomorrow, you've built a passive income stream that can maintain your lifestyle. You know, therefore, you can work because you want to, not necessarily because you have to. Well, Ryan, that's why, uh, you know, talking to me as a baby boomer, we don't think about retirement, but we do think about financial independence. And that is the greater goal in life for us is financial independence, having all the money to do whatever the heck we care to do, no matter what anybody thinks. Uh, we're not dependent on anybody. You know, we don't care if you think we're, we're too old for what we're doing. We're doing it anyway. But it takes <laughs> cash flow. Yes. And it's kind of daunting to think about. It sounds like an awesome thing in theory. But the question is, okay, how do I actually build this passive income stream that gives me this financial independence? And really the first place you start is what we call that income needs analysis, Bob, right? Well, I'll tell you what, right? Now's the best time in history to do an income needs analysis because we're not spending any money. <laughs> like we used to over the last two or three months, everything looks really good. If there's any time you don't want to feel guilty about your spending, it's now because you can't <laughs> spend. So if you're going to look at your budget, which always sounds like an awful idea, uh, I have to tell you, I did my own budget recently and I just looked at what I'm spending. It's come down a lot. If there's any time to look at your budget, now's the time to do it. Start looking at what you spend monthly. Get those credit card bills, checks, and take a look at it. Yeah, it's really not that difficult. I mean, look, I know it's like asking you right now as you're quarantining in place to go on a diet. No way. I'm not asking that. I'm just asking to add things up to see what your budget is because unless we know where you're starting, there's no way to give you directions. Yes. So once you establish that and quarantine is the time to look at that budget, then what you want to look at is a portfolio assessment. Okay. So you know what you need to spend or what you're spending now. Now it's time to look at all your portfolios Look at them in one place. That's why we built our financial portal so we can give people a bird's eye view. And then you can start to look at, does my portfolio actually match up with what my income needs are? Yeah, right. It's not just a matter of adding up what you have in assets. It's first of all, let's look at your passive income streams. We're all entitled to Social Security and how you take that Social Security can have a definite big impact on your future income needs. You might have a pension. I have a pension. My old days at Mother Merrill gave me a pension. Who would have thunk? So I got a check coming in. So, you know, there's, there's different ways, uh, different passive income streams we have to account for. But then we got to look at the portfolio, right? Because we got to make sure we're not taking more risks than necessary. Yeah, no, exactly right. So, and just for the record there, there's no right way to take Social Security. Everybody's different. Your Social Security optimizations can be different than your friend, your neighbors, your sister, your brothers. So that's really, really important. And the thing is, then when you start looking at your portfolio and looking at all these things in one place, You want to start to optimize the income on your portfolio. How much does it generate? To your point, Bob, how much risk are you taking? 
And you might know you're taking a lot of risk right now because the market came down big time and you weren't protected. So these are all the things you want to start to think about. You know, a lot of you have been investing in CDs as your investment strategy for the last couple of years. Well, there's no yield in CDs now. The last thing I want to do is see you down in Florida at a roadside stand selling golf balls to supplement your lack of CD income. You need to come and see us and get a plan. That's, that's the way to solve these problems. Yeah, and the other thing is it's not just about income now, right? You're going to need more income as life goes along because of inflation. Things are going to cost more in the future. So not only do you have to account for today's income stream, but you have an income stream for the next five years, 10 years, 20 years. You've got to plan for that today. No, you absolutely do, Ryan. I mean, there's this, um, you know, we always account for taxes. Everybody does whatever they can to minimize their tax. But there's this universal tax. There's a universal IRS up there in the cloud somewhere that creates this hidden insidious tax we call inflation. And if you don't account for it, your plan's not worth anything. Yeah, and it's just so much worse than ever right now because you're getting no return sitting in a money market fund. You know, it's like a half a percent if you're lucky. You know, you're getting 1%. I saw negative CD rates the other day. It's crazy. So right now you have to address this problem. It's not going away. At some point, the pandemic is going away. Economy is going to start to come back and your goals are still there, um, but interest rates are still low. So you've got to make those moves now. You can't wait on that. You know, Ryan, it's not just as unexpected inflation. You're also going to have these unexpected expenses. You know, long-term care, nursing home. It's amazing. I had a client the other day put his brother-in-law in a nursing home and it was $8,000 a month. So he thought, wow, I'm going to go across this street. This other place is nicer. And he said, uh, you know, this, this place across the street is really expensive, 8000 a month. You know, I'd rather bring them here. And they go, well, it's 30000 a month. Jeez. Yeah. And these things you have to think about now, because I always ask the question to clients is if you had a quarter of a million dollars, a half a million dollars come out of your portfolio today because of medical expenses that are unforeseen in the future, is that going to affect your lifestyle? You need to know those answers today. Absolutely right. It's something where you can do these plans. You can make these projections. And, you know, nothing makes me sleep better at night than to see a projection where when we factor in all these unexpected uh, expenses and all this unexpected inflation, that the portfolio could continue to grow, the cash flow can continue to grow, grow, so you can continue to enjoy your life and achieve what I call the great goals of life. Yeah, and then you tie it all together with the fact that you want to check this stuff out often, right? You, want to, you don't want to set it and forget it. It's like the worst thing you can do with financial planning. It's just like getting that physical every year. You want to check everything once a year, make sure, have my needs changed? Things do change. Your lifestyle changes all the time. I mean, think about where we were in January versus now. The world's changed. So you have to adjust the portfolio. You have to adjust what your lifestyle looks like a minimum of every 12 months just to make sure your portfolio still is aligned with what your goals are. Hey, if you're thinking to yourself right now, hey, I can't even get in to see my doctor to get my annual physical. Ryan's right. I need to do that every year. But I haven't had a financial physical in years. Now's your opportunity. If you're one of our next eight callers and you've saved over 500000 for retirement, here's your opportunity to make sure that you're financially fit to achieve your goals and dreams in life, to make sure that your portfolio is positioned to generate the income you need, net of inflation, net of these future expenses that you know, we tried to scare the living daylights out of you with, but they're true. You know, these unexpected expenses are coming because you're living longer, because of health care costs, because you want to enjoy your life. And why not? You've earned it. Now's the time. All you have to do is, is gather all those statements as they come in for the month. And, you know, you can send them to us in real time. You can send them to us in a secure environment. We'll make sure it's easy for you to uh, send us that information. And we're going to take that information to be certain that you don't have a collection of investments, that you're not spread too thin in terms of generating income. We want to look at all of your portfolios to make sure you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. We want to be certain that you're diversified. You know, diversification is the only free lunch on Wall Street. And I'll tell you what, it worked better in this environment than ever in the history of my career. In addition, we want to look at costs and fees. You know, I've been on Wall Street for a long time. Boy, I'll tell you what they're good at. They're good at hiding fees. They hide them from me, they hide them for you, but we've got x-ray vision. Actually, we have tools that will x-ray your account and show you exactly where these costs are hidden. Why not put that money in your pocket where it firmly belongs and take it out of the pocket of some of these Wall Street banks? In addition, we're going to look at your income. We, know we talk about income ad nauseum because it's important. You need income. You need dependable, repeatable income, especially as you retire. When you hit that year, that income gap year, where that paycheck no longer is directly deposited to your bank account. And if you're in retirement, well, I'll tell you what, your number one goal is to keep it that way. Stay retired. 
And all you need is to have that dependable, repeatable income, which we can help you to build in your portfolio strategy. And lastly, we're gonna tie it all together into one total financial master plan, where we're gonna answer that age old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money gonna outlive you, utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, for almost four decades, over four decades. We've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next eight callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement at 844-752-6692. 844-752-6692. While you're home quarantining right now, why not get a second opinion? Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, financial radio. And of course, that's P A Y N. E. If you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually get our show as a podcast. You can have it delivered right to your inbox every week. And you can learn more about me and Bob and what we do at Paying Capital Management. Simply go to bebullish.com. And most importantly, Bob's hair is real, but you want to check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com if you're listening to this on the radio. And you can catch myself, many of our advisors at Payne Capital Management every single week on all the major networks, everything from CNBC, Fox Business News, to Yahoo Finance, talking about our latest views on the economy and the market. And if you ever have a question that you want to ask myself or Bob, you can actually email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, man, we're getting a lot of questions lately. You will answer right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our man in the studio, Dan Irving. Dan, what's shaking down North Carolina, brother? Doing pretty well. We're uh, getting hit by the outskirts of one of the first tropical storms of the season. Hopefully it'll be the last. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got some great questions on the mailbag today. Our first question is from Richard in Teaneck, New Jersey. And Richard says, Bob, how do I maintain my purchasing power of my savings when an advisor charges around a 1% fee to manage my money? Hey, Richard, that's a great question because fees are the one thing that can be the biggest hurdle from you getting from your point A, where you are now, to your goals, to your dreams, your point B. And, you know, the first thing you want to ask your advisor, are they a stockbroker? Are they a commission salesman? Or are they a fiduciary? Right. What's the difference between someone who's a fiduciary and someone who's not? Well, I mean, to put it in layman's terms, a broker is transactional, meaning a lot of times they're buying you something because they get paid to buy you that something. And I would call that a conflict of interest. Whereas a fiduciary may charge a fee or percent of the assets they manage, but they actually have to give you good advice and they're liable for it, which is huge. Meaning that if they grow the portfolio, they get paid more. So they're on the same side of the page as you are, so to speak, or the same team, probably is a better way of saying that. So what Richard really needs to do is make sure that they're working with a fiduciary because if they're only paid that 1% fee, it actually is a lot less than most people pay in total fees. And, you know, all the studies have shown, Rye, that fiduciary advised portfolios return anywhere from 2 to 4% more a year over the course of the relationship. Yeah, and I'll tell you why that is, and this is a perfect example of that, with the markets coming down right now, and I can tell you this with our own clients, is keeping you invested is one of the most important things you can do. So if you panicked out of the market or you weren't invested in the markets, you may miss the boat here on a great opportunity. So having someone who guides you and navigates you through this, it's a huge difference of you having to do it and go at it on your own. Hey, Rye, it's not just about not getting you to panic or keeping you from panicking keep your emotions under control. That's only a small part of it, but it's also being active, you know, during these periods where you take advantage of a balanced portfolio, rebalancing that portfolio when the market provides the opportunity. Hey, hindsight's 2020. 
A lot of you who aren't using an advisor, maybe you did panic or maybe you did nothing when nothing was the right thing to do, but you should have been taking some action and those actions are paying big benefits right now, you know, to clients with a, an advisor. Yeah. I mean, this is the perfect example. It's just so treacherous right now. It's just so nice to have a game plan and somebody who can guide you through. So it takes the stress off of you. Huge. Hey, Ryan, I just got to make one point. You know, you've been around a long time now. When in your career <laughs> wasn't it treacherous? Yeah. Valid point, Bob. It's always treacherous. And even when you don't know it's treacherous, like the beginning of the year is a perfect example. Everything was looking rosy. And then all of a sudden, everything fell off a cliff. You've got to be prepared for those things. Thank you, Richard, for writing in. Our next question comes to us from Bill on Great Neck, Long Island. Bill says, Ryan, the conspiracy theorists say we should invest in gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. What is your outlook and what should we invest in? Well, I know Bob put all his money into crypto and he's not happy today. No, that was a bad joke. I, I don't understand cryptocurrencies. It just seems like a lot of millennials in their basement trading it. Uh, it seems to me more like gambling than actual investing. I know there's all this talk, it's going to be the future currency, but I'd rather have my money in the good old US dollar. Rumor has it the government owns like 200 trillion worth of assets, Bob. Just more saying. like 270 trillion. <laughs> 270 trillion, there you go. Um, so I don't think that is the best place to be. Now, gold and silver, gold has gone up recently. We do like to have commodities in your portfolio, and that can be energy gold, all those things, because they act as what we call a negatively correlated asset. What does that mean in English, Bob? Sounds pretty fancy to me, right? It just means it's something that goes up when other things go down. So most of your stocks and bonds are what we call financial assets. These are called hard assets. And if you're in a truly diversified portfolio, you want to have a little bit of money in everything so that it keeps the ride very smooth. You want a smooth ride in these volatile times. And, um, Guess what, Ryan? We're going to continue to have volatile times for the rest of our, our lives. And I'll put one more caveat out there. Don't just buy gold as a standalone investment. It's a terrible investment. I don't care what those gold commercials tell you on TV. Uh, they're really good at selling it. But as a standalone investment, it stinks. In the long term, <laughs> it's done terrible. So I would never own it as just an investment in your portfolio because you think, I'm going to ride that wave up because it's well, not a big wave. Here's my strategy with gold, right? First of all, it's, it's too heavy to carry around. Uh, it pays no dividend and you can't eat it. So I don't know. It's not a big fan of gold. Just need a gold watch, Bob, and you, you've made it. <laughs> all right. So, Ryan, I got a question for you. On a, on a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized, where would you put Richard and Bill? I think they're asking good questions. So I'm going to give them both a four and a half today because at least they're asking provoking questions. And now they need to get a game plan together. So still got about 6.5 to go. Okay. Not bad. I mean, you're a little you're more benevolent than you were last week. So I want to ask all of you on a scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized, what would rating would Ryan give you? What, what rating would your spouse give you? Are you a 10? If you're not, why wouldn't you want to be? And if you're thinking you might, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next four callers and you saved over 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will help you to get financially organized. As a matter of fact, We'll introduce you to our financial portal. This is a 360 financial portal, like a financial GPS. No different than a GPS you have in your car. It'll tell you exactly where you are financially. It'll update your assets and your cash flows in real time, and it'll let you know where you are anytime you want to look, but more importantly, let you know where you're going. In addition, Ryan and I are going to take all those statements that are coming in. Now, look, you're sitting home, quarantine. You can't really go out. There's not that much to do. We're going to give you a secure site where you can send that information to us, and we're going to break down your portfolio to see if you have a collection of investments or if you have the three key elements of a truly successful strategy. Are you diversified? Do you have the right asset allocation? You know, it's been said many times, the only free lunch on Wall Street is asset allocation. Why give up anything for free, especially lunch? We want to make sure that you don't have the wrong asset allocation or you're taking way more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. Like 90% of the people we review are taking more risk than necessary. Uh, you know, risk is great, but in hindsight, it can really be harmful. Let's look at fees. You know, Wall Street loves to create fees. Banks, you know, they're not making a lot on spreads right now. So you know where they're getting it? In fees. They're charging you lots of fees. We have X-ray vision. Well, actually, we have tools that allows to x-ray these portfolios and I'll tell you exactly where these fees are hidden. Some can be eliminated, some can't, but why have unnecessary cost in your portfolio? 
and we want to look at income. Income is something that's so incredibly important to all of us for the rest of our lives, whether retired or whether we're planning to retire. You know, once you do retire, you get that gap. That check doesn't come in any longer. There's no more direct deposit from your company to your checking account. You need to replace that paycheck with dependable, repeatable income. And if you're retired, my goodness, come on. We all know our number one goal in retirement is to keep it that way. And the only way to stay retired is to be certain that that income stream continues throughout our entire lifetime. And lastly, we want to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money? Or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for almost 47 years. Can you believe it? For over four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your point A, your financial point A, to your goals, to your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We still have four slots left if you give us a call or text right now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, Here's your shot while you're quarantined or semi-quarantined now to get a second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing video conferences, building your own personalized portal at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no game, financial radio. <laughs> It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you're making the best decisions about your planning, investing right now. That's why we put together our coronavirus survival guide. We just give you a couple things you can be doing proactively right now to make sure your finances are in order, your investments are in order. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get our coronavirus survival guide. We just give you a couple different things you can do proactively right now to make some good decisions about your finances, your planning, your investing. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, 555-888. Text the word bullish to the number 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show, my brother, Bob's son, financial advisor, Payne Capital Management, Mr. Christopher Payne. Good to see you, brother. It's just good to see you too, bro. That's an all pain weekend once again. It's no all dream. pain, lots of gain. Uh, I've heard that. I heard that somewhere. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for being on the show, Chris. This is our spotlight segment. Every week, what we do is we'll dissect a real financial plan and we uncover what we call the flaws or pain points. That's P A Y N E for the record. So our listeners can avoid the same mistakes with their planning and investing. You worked on a case recently. Why don't you break it down for us? You know, is it the real spotlight just hearing dad's words of wisdom of his 46-year story career? Oh, man. What a, uh, what a brown noser. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody's got to make him feel good, you know? He knows, <laughs> he knows I'm working on my estate plan over Memorial Day weekend, Rye. He knows. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> you, you can give $15,000 to each individual. Just uh, heads up. <laughs> Come on together. That's 30000 Bob. Don't be, don't be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, right. I just worked on a, a really great case for a couple uh, in the New York area. Um, they're, they're getting close to retirement, you know, within a year. And, you know, the one thing I noticed right off the bat is that they actually are working with an advisor. And the first question I always ask is, does your advisor run for you an annual financial plan based on your goals? And the answer was a shocking no. Mm. Yeah, I'm not shocked because most financial planners love to take fees but they like to do no work for those fees. So uh, I'm not that surprised, Chris. And you know, right? It's like we go to the doctor. The doctor's not like, okay, I'm going to write your prescription. And then they see it, send you on your way. You know, you always want to make sure there's some kind of an analysis, right? You want to make sure that, you know, everything looks like it's in good shape. And for the things that are not in good shape, then you prescribe the medicine based on that analysis, right? Yeah. So what did you find out with this case? Because the way our process works is, first off, we do a full assessment of basically where they are now, what their lifestyle needs are going to be, and then you look at the entire portfolio and make sure things are aligned. 
Exactly right. And you know, the one thing I always love, I always love seeing people that have a lot of income in retirement. So income coming from things like pension, social security, uh, and this couple uh, hits that nail on the head. They've got great pension, they've got social security coming in. So they really don't need to draw a lot of money out of this portfolio, which tells me right off the bat, they don't need a ton of risk. Yeah. Why take more risk than they have to? Exactly. And, you know, one of the things I noticed, you know, just by looking on the surface, it doesn't look like they're taking a lot of risk. But, you know, as I really started to dig into what they have, I found out that they're taking a ton of risk, not just on the equity or the stock side, which is traditionally where we find most of our risk, but more specifically on the bond side. And one of the things I noticed right off the bat is that they have pretty much exclusively bond funds. Well, you know, Chris, bond funds have been a great investment, but we've been in a 40-year bull market in bonds. And our very own Dr. Jeremy Siegel of Wharton the other day said that bull market is over. And unfortunately, most of these advisors out there haven't been around as long as this old dog that you're talking to right now. <laughs> they have never seen a bear market in bonds. They have no idea how devastating it is to bond funds where you have no maturity and no fixed rate of return. And dad, you learned that firsthand back in the 80s, right? Boy, I sure did. I learned the hard way, right? That uh, I, touched, I touched the electric fence, as your, as your brother Ryan likes to say, and uh, never touched it again. It was a lesson well learned, but I've saved my clients and all the people I trained over my years billions and billions of dollars by not buying these dreaded, horrible, you know, I can't say any worse than, than I can think for bond funds. And, you know, I call these things the Trojan horse of the bond world, just because they're <laughs> called bonds. They're marketed as bonds, but the reality is that they sure as heck don't work like a bond. First and foremost, the most important thing I think is that they don't have a set date of maturity. And that's really important because you always want to have a portion of your portfolio that's coming due. And in the, in the case with these folks, uh, they've got these bond funds, so no set date of maturity. The other thing that they had a lot of are triple B rated bonds. So like our own personal credit scores, bonds have a rating. And triple B is just barely investment grade, almost what we call junk status or or high yield. And the reality is with your bond portfolio, you don't want to take a lot of risk. You want to make sure that those bonds are coming due. And more importantly, that those bonds are of the highest possible quality, because if whatever the entity is you're investing in goes out of business, well, there goes your principal investment. That's the problem, Chris. You know, bonds, bond funds are the sausage of the investment world, right? It tastes, how can something that tastes so good be so horrible for you? And if you ever saw how a sausage was made, you'd never eat one again. If you truly knew what was in that bond fund, you wouldn't walk. You would run. Um, it's like those old Capital One commercials. I say, do you know what's in your wallet? Do you know what's <laughs> in your bond fund? And I think that's what's so important is you want to have that risk assessment now, right? You want to understand what your risks are now because, I mean, look, we, didn't, we couldn't predict the pandemic, but what we found with our clients is because we're always managing risk when those unexpected things happen, you already have protection in your portfolio. And just because the bond prices have not gone down dramatically yet, doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So here's like a time when you really want to know what's in your portfolio and really understand the risk associated with that and purge all the things that can be really risky down the line. Yeah, exactly. And you know, the, the thing here, and I think with a lot of people that we see is that they're taking a lot of this extra risk, not really getting any benefit when the reality is they can take a ton less risk, own their bonds outright that mature and generate a heck of a lot more income because at this point in their lives, these folks only really need like ten to $15,000 a year out of their portfolios. And just from the interest and dividends alone, that would more than cover that and they'd be set for life. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the whole thing, Chris. Thank goodness they met with you, you know, before the inevitable happened. So you were able to eliminate risk that they couldn't see because how would they know? Um, you know, without experience and knowledge and wisdom that comes with 40, 50, 60 years of experience, you don't know of these unintended consequences of the portfolio. Great job, buddy. Really great job and, and save these people a lot of anxiety in the future. Yeah. So if you're thinking to yourself right now, like, I have no idea what I own in my portfolio. I don't know if it's good or bad. I think I have some bond funds. I think I have some stocks. I'm not quite sure. Well, here's your shot to get that risk assessment to make sure you're protected on the downside, which is huge. If you're one of the next two callers, we still have two slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob Payne and Chris Payne will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review while you're quarantining. We've set up a secure email so you can send us your investments. We're going to do a full analysis and even better, we're going to build you your own personalized financial portal 
so we can do a full audit of your financial life. When was the last time you did that? And we're going to look at all those critical components. We're going to look at income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you going to draw from your portfolio? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. It has nothing to do with the ups and downs of the market. So you can draw safely from your portfolio for the rest of your life. We're going to look at diversification. What kind of underlying risk don't you know about in your portfolio? Did you get hit hard as the market sold off here? Were you protected? Do you own things like bond funds, which are a ticking time bomb in your portfolio? We're going to point out all the pitfalls and risks in your portfolio and show you how to protect yourself. And we're going to look at fees and income. A lot of these financial products have a lot of expenses embedded that you don't see in those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products, brokerage products. We're going to show you how to reduce the cost in your portfolio, those hidden costs. And then we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do right now from a tax perspective you need to be doing. Everything from Roth conversions, tax swaps, showing you how to generate tax-free income. Now is the time to do it so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine the most critical question. Are you going to run out of money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies our family has literally worked on for over 45 years. Take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next two callers, you saved over 500000 for retirement. Only two spots left. Don't miss out. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, great show, and I'm excited. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's the first time the whole Payne family is together in yeah. months with quarantine, so it's uh, just great to hang with you guys. I think nothing more than I miss hanging with my family. So thanks for being on the show, Chris. We appreciate it, brother. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a second opinion. You can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.